High school students poured out of class in Santa Rosa today, demanding more protection after a deadly classroom stabbing. Good evening, I'm Ryan Yamamoto. And I'm Elizabeth Cook. It comes as we learn about another potential threat at a different school. Our Da Lin spoke to students about the message they want to send to administrators. Da? Yeah, this story really is involving students from two neighboring high schools, but they have the same message. If they don't feel safe, then they can't focus on learning. Now, while the students at, Mar at the neighboring Maria Carrillo High School were staging a walkout in protest, students here at Montgomery High were gathering to support each other. No justice, no peace. Before they marched, Maria Carrillo High School students rallied on campus to demand better security and communication from administrators. For God's sakes, change the alarm tone. Why is the sound the exact same for a lockdown and a fire? I'm sorry, my response is going to be very different if there's somebody dangerous on campus or if there's a fire. Students say a campus fire and a hoax involving school shooting happened recently. And this week, police arrested a student for bringing an unloaded gun to school. I do not currently feel safe coming to school and of that there was a gun on campus and we weren't educated of that. Um, in light of recent events, I do not feel safe at school. Why does it take my best friend Seth to be an eye opener to do better? Among those who came to speak at the rally was Olivia Cruz, a junior from Montgomery High. She witnessed the stabbing that killed her best friend, 16-year-old Jaden Pienta. My school absolutely failed him, 100%. I was the one who called 911. I walked him into that office saying that he was stabbed. The stabbing happened Wednesday morning in an art class at Montgomery High. Family and friends of the victim say the 16-year-old Pienta and another 16-year-old junior walked into the class to confront a 15-year-old freshman. They claim the freshman had previously slashed Pienta's car tires. Police say the 15-year-old boy stabbed the two older boys, killing Pienta. These three young boys had a history. The school knew about it. All, both two parents called the school multiple times about all, like their whole beef and all their drama, and nothing was done. The school district would not comment on what they knew or what intervention was done before the stabbing. The district removed school resource officers, or SROs, in the summer of 2020 after the police killing of George Floyd. Montgomery High students also claim they don't have security guards on campus. We weren't aware of any specific instances or issues between those students. The police department wants to bring SROs back. They believe it would have made a difference. We've never had something like we had on Wednesday in any of our schools ever. It doesn't mean you're not going to have violence. We've seen that nationwide even with SROs on campus, but they do a good job of preventing things from happening. It deters kids from thinking I can get away with stuff when they know a, a cop is nearby. Many students like Olivia agree. They want to prevent another tragedy. I'm on two hours of sleep because every time I sleep, I dream about him. I relive everything that I saw and I don't want to. At the gathering here this afternoon at Montgomery High, grief counselors and a therapy dog met with the students. Now, Montgomery High will reopen on Monday. Liz, uh, I understand the students plan to have a uh, walkout on Monday when the school does reopen. Back to you. A lot of outrage there. All right, Da, thank you so much. Now, police tell us the school district will be hosting community meetings next week to ask students what they want to see going forward, like bringing back those school resource officers.